anybody who's getting into relationships have entitlement issues because they contribute. Right now, you have to understand what you're contributing versus its value. Our tits start sagging, our ass starts getting flat. We ain't got time to be playing with y'all like that. Just no, stop playing. Oh, no, marry me or let me keep it moving because at the end of the day, I can't keep playing these games like y'all can keep playing these games. Yeah, but you are, like um, it but, doesn't make any sense. It's a sacrifice as well. Give me my insurance because I'm taking care of your kids. That shit is hard. You have to get married at the end of the day, and if you don't get married, he's not willing to marry you. It's on the prenup. Absolutely. Okay. So I can protect myself. So now when it comes to men, for us to protect ourselves, we get shamed on. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Rico, and we're back season four in at the table. We have a beautiful addition by the name of Crystal. Hey, you guys. What did we talk about today? So today we grilled the guys. Well, I grilled the guys. Can you guys be submissive? And I also grilled Crystal about what she brings to the table in a relationship. Then they had the nerve to ask me, can I be a stay at home dad? Not for me. But wait a minute, I'm a stay at home mom. So we just gonna kill that noise right now. But that doesn't make it okay to just think that if I'm gonna invest in you, I'm gonna marry you. Because like I said, if I'm hustling right now and I'm paying for her to go to school, so I marry her, put a ring on her finger to show her I'm serious. It doesn't matter when she gets to where she got to That's get to true. in her life, if she decides to bounce, you get half. The end result was gonna be no, I don't get half because she's just starting. There's no half, she doesn't have nothing to offer. I feel like if you're gonna invest in Shorty and you already thinking like, oh, she's gonna leave me when she gets on, she's gonna leave me. So every move that you make, every um benefit that you allow her to have, you have to make sure it's benefiting you at the long run. So you're with the person now because you think you're on a certain pedestal and they're not. And once they surpass you or get on the same level, they don't need you anymore. So that's a problem within yourself. You cannot think like that. If I put all my eggs in this basket and this basket breaks, where do I end up? Now, if so a let woman, me protect, let me put some type of protection in myself. You're just projecting at that point. No, I'm not. Can I say something, one projecting. more thing real quick? Can I just say one more thing? Now, a man can have sex until he fucking dies and makes kids damn near that whole time. A female is actually sacrificing more because we don't get our looks back, our tits start sagging, our ass starts getting flat. We ain't got time to be playing with y'all like that. Just no, stop playing. no, marry me or let me keep it moving because at the end of the day, I can't keep playing these games like y'all can keep playing these games. Yeah, but you ain't like um, it but, doesn't make any sense. It's a sacrifice as well. Give me my insurance because I'm taking care of your kids. That shit is hard. I'm taking care of the home. You got somewhere cozy and clean to come home to because if you were by yourself you would just come home to your pissy ass toilet you're half a fucking shower curtain and you, that's how you gotta live but when you have a female she's gonna take care of home and make sure everything's good and give you a good space to work in so our that, good years are gone y'all are still old getting money and still having young girls sugar babies and all kinds of stuff and living your best life living a, driving a ferrari and now i'm all older you know my, my ass is sagging my titties are sagging and where is my insurance if you didn't marry me like what do i get out of that out of taking care of you like you where's our insurance well you make you make a valid point um i think what re, i agree with both of y'all really reality because i do agree with everybody know i'm single unless i'm married all right so you definitely need to get married that's your insurance on for a woman and a man we just got to know and analyze exactly who we invest in in our time to so if a man don't and i'm a firm believer in this if a man don't marry you, which means you show he showing you how much he's willing to invest into you, period. So and now now investments for us is kind of a little easy as what, what my boy was saying. Rico was saying this because really, if you would just talk about investing in financial aspect, you can you don't got to be my wife for me to invest into you. Let's just be clear here. Right. But however, for if we are together and. Um, we trying to, I think a woman's security is marriage. You have to get married at the end of the day. And if you don't get married, he's not willing to marry you, then you play, Then he's playing games with you. Yeah, in um, I was watching a video about healthy and unhealthy relationships, and it was a black man talking, and he said, um, you should never be in a relationship for five or 10 years, and marriage is not the end goal. And he was like, there's no religion against marriage, which is true. And he was like, um, some people love to say, oh, it's just a piece of paper. It don't mean anything. So when you go to sign a million dollar contract, don't sign a contract. Just take their word for it, right? Because a piece of paper doesn't mean anything. Right. If that's what you that's what you want to say. So, so in other words, you're saying you have to protect yourself. And no, with, he right? wasn't. He wasn't talking about protection. He was talking about healthy relationships, healthy investments. 
you are spending your time and money with this person and your your being. So he was like, so you have to get waiting. married. Married needs, just like how you said, he said marriage needs to be the end goal. Yeah, because the rule of the purpose of marriage mm-hmm. in contracts in general is to protect both parties. Mm-hmm. So that's the root of it, you know, um, which is why I say it's to, which Do is why I say. Do you believe it's to protect women more than men? No, I think that, um, I, I, yes, definitely, because a man why? can move, because a man can move forward. You can, a, a man move forward like this. We, you, she made a valid point. I could be 70 years old and still produce. She can't produce at 70 years old, mm-hmm. um, supposedly, right? Mm-hmm. But, um, but on, on the flip side of it, if I 100% agree with y'all about protection, right? Getting married to protect y'all. But on, I also agree that a man should protect himself. If you truly love me, why not sign a prenup? Okay, so I can protect myself. But why is it monetary? Why are we not talking about legally binding? Meaning, if you get in an accident and you're in a coma, your mother and father can't say pull the plug. Right. You know, I'm the one that you live with. I'm the one that you know you have children with. I should be able to say what happens. I agree, but the prenup prenup don't have nothing to do with you. You're talking about the prenup. I'm talking about. I'm saying to protect us. Mm -hmm. If you, I. We know it's I was common. About marriage, baby. Yeah, I'm saying so. We know it's common in marriage that women get married to men and then have a baby by them and then get a get a divorce. And she was using this man this whole entire time for money just to be financially secure, right? Mm-hmm. So we that happens. Let's not pretend like that does not happen. So I think that to counter that, why can't men have have prenups? No one said men couldn't have prenups. Now, what are the the, the agreements? With the prenup, are we saying you're leaving with the same thing you came in with, or are you getting half? Like, I feel like that's between the the well, person because the if thing is, if, wait, I'm sorry. If Rico's starting a business and I'm answering the phones, exactly, that's and we what I'm get saying. married, but the business under his name and he become a multimillionaire, I was helping him start that, that business. business. So you're telling probably me, not even getting paid. Yes, what are you talking about? about? But I, I get you. Listen. I'm not disagreeing. Okay, well, guess no. what? If you, you, not, if you, if you <laughs> are answering the phones of my company mm-hmm. for 10 years mm-hmm. or five years, mm-hmm. let's just say five years, right? A year, bro. Okay, let's say you're answering the phone for a year of my company, and then I become a multimillionaire, right? You get the flat rate for that year that you would have answered the calls. You That's are a shitty hard. person. No, do y'all have kids together? Wait, about, because about, what no, if I wait, answered that guys, multi-million? I didn't, she I made didn't the call. interrupt she answered anybody. The call. I'm just saying I didn't interrupt, so I would like to speak. Right? <laughs> My thing is people have, and I say people, anybody who's getting into relationships have entitlement issues because they contribute. Right? Now, mm-hmm. you have to understand what you're contributing versus its value. Mm-hmm. Right? So if I am the owner of a company and my company becomes a multi-million company, it's not because people were answering the phones. That's not, hold on, slow. That's not something that I could not possess or go out and get. Now you are doing it and and I am grateful for you, so I'm going to pay you exactly what that job was in this company, if you're talking about business. So when it comes to the prenup thing, I'm more so thinking like, why is it that it's such a, scare tactic when it comes to like, hey, listen, I'm going to bring you in, right? I'm going, I want you to sign a prenup. You're gonna, you're gonna leave with whatever you came with and whatever you, you've earned, right? But you see how you do this? So now when it comes to men, for us to protect ourselves, we get shamed on. Okay, so I'm going to speak for myself. Um, let's say I have a boyfriend now and he's telling me like, Hey, when you go on your show, talk about this or, you know, be less confrontational, do this. He's grooming me to be the best talk show host. And and I'd sign a multimillionaire, the multimillion deal. Something happened and we break up. Our agreement was we have a prenuptial agreement, whatever. I'll make way more than him. I'm sorry, but 
I'm not putting money into the mix thinking like that. Like, oh, you think you deserve half? You wasn't sitting in front of those cameras. He still helped me, even though he didn't, so he wasn't physically half? here. Like, and he, listen, it's not only about my career. He was there when I had my period cramps and I was cranky. He was there when I was sick. He yes. was there when I felt like I was ugly. He was, he took and me out on fact. dates. He did. Are he, you giving him half? Yes. A lot he happens in the house. house. When you're in a real relationship, a lot happens happens in the household. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pillow talk. There's a lot of things that will affect you in your workspace. So if you have someone who is contributing to what you do at your workspace or when you're, when I know what kind of woman I am, I am a woman that damn near deserve, I deserve that half, if not more, because when it comes to business, not only am I giving you plenty of ideas to make your business better, to make it grow, to make the anything, I'm that kind of woman. So if it comes down to it and we get a divorce, I know I deserve that half. I don't know about every other other woman, but I know damn well that I'm one of those women because I'm contributing to the business and I'm making it damn near what it is. And I and I agree, but this is my point, and I agree. That's why I said, Rico, the principle what you were saying, I agree with, but however, I do agree with um, if a, somebody's there with you helping you build, that person deserves half. They do. Right? You got a children. Yes. Why not? Exactly what children do, Listen, if, Wait, if, are you in a partnership listen, or a marriage? Because at this point, like, yeah, if it's love and connection, you're getting married no, for it. Like, no, but, but, no, it's, but, it's, it's both. That's it's what I was both. saying. What like, happened to actual love and, like, the person? Because you're just looking at one aspect of the relationship. Are you a business partner? First of all, time out. Wait. Like, what do you mean? No, but listen, the thing about it is the principle what he's trying to say is, which I agree with, men should protect themselves as well. I 100% agree with that. However, I mean, or not however, in addition though, I do agree with, um, ladies, we understand, we, we gonna, it's a six on the table. Right now, me and Rico looking at a six. Let me get, let me look at the nine, which y'all looking at. I do agree that, you know, a woman should protect herself and if a woman help build, or a man help build, whatever, right, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. If you help build and you become some blown up the whole nine yards, yes, I do. And you got children by this person, why wouldn't you want to see this person? That person deserve have, in my opinion. Now, that's that's people who build, but if I'm already lit, Mm-hmm. And I come to you, and yeah, we, and like, that's right? Different. And now we, so, because we only spoke on one aspect. Yeah, this okay. other aspect, so we, are, I'm already lit and I meet you. Why is it hard, or why is the frown faces of a man saying, listen, I want to marry you the whole nine yards, but I want you to sign this prenup? Not wrong right? With that. Is, is, that is, is anything wrong with that? No. Okay. That's, that's, that's not what we're talking about. I mean, I was the, about, but that, no, you, you spoke on one aspect. I'm I absolutely you. said, y'all speaking about monetary value right now. I'm speaking about, like I said, when if I broke my leg and he was there, he took off from work and he helped me heal. The times that, or, you know, he went through something or I went through something, we was there for each other. You know what I mean? It's He dedicated his life to me. Mm-hmm. So if I blow up, he could have been with whoever else he wanted to be with. But he, we, nobody is perfect. We all do, go through our own stuff. We don't know, we don't want to know how any of us are behind closed doors. But that person know because they've been with you. Mm-hmm. So if they've been with you, riding with you, supporting you, and I'm talking about a real healthy relationship, but it happens to not work out, they got years of their life they cannot bring back. What if you was a woman that didn't ha- want to have kids? Now this man 50. I don't want to be no dad at 50, miss. Can I tell you? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Or you wanted to have kids and he didn't want to have kids. Now you 45. Like, damn, you sacrificed a lot. It's, you paying for time loss, basically. Yeah, like, you <laughs> that's also, what you paying you for. You got to think about it like this, Nikki. Like, mm-hmm. first and foremost, that sounds very poetic. That's what I'm going to say. Why? Because if I can be with you through the thick and the thin, there should be no reason why we go to an end. Mm-hmm. So let's get to the go real. Ahead. Go ahead, Rico. The real is that there's a problem between right. me and you. Mm-hmm. We're not working, mm-hmm. right? So this wasn't all, you know, rainbows and, and, and sunshines throughout our relationship because we're going to a divorce. Mm-hmm. We're talking about marriage going to a divorce. Mm-hmm. And there's actually a saying that says, whatever the divorce is, divide that time it took. I mean, divide the time you started in half, and you've been divorcing for that amount of time. So if we were together for five years, we've been divorcing for two and a half, Mm -hmm. right? So in two and a half years, shit wasn't good. Mm -hmm. So you might have gave me great ideas for the first two and a half years. You might have been there for me, and I might have been there for you. But now you want to talk about non-monetary values. The last two and a half years, I was busting my ass, and me and you were having problems at home. 
Doesn't mean I wasn't taking care of him, Rico. I probably hey, hey, took but, 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 ass no, that's on a mad night. But if I have a children with this woman and my wife helped Bill, regardless, I don't care if we was married for 10 years and we've been beefing for the last five years. Do you think I'm going to just get a divorce with her and make sure she's not okay? Like, that's my daughter's mother. No, kid, like, no, if no, she's no. not okay, my daughter's going to be looking at their mom not okay. So it's in my interest, right? My best interest, because my investment is those little girls. So I need their mother to be at least had peace of mind. So my investment, which is my daughter's, my okay. personal interest that I have, that they are okay. But <laughs> do you see how automatically the woman is stuck with those kids? Mm -hmm. So y'all talking about y'all just getting out of a situation and leaving. No, and now that. you at the club, you popping bottles, you spending money on all of these girls, these strippers, oh, these this, oh, these that, having a good time. And baby girl is at the house with them kids give me my motherfucking half because nah you living your best life and i'm over here with your snot-nosed kids <laughs> no we're I not mean, doing not that everybody's like that rod was it would rise with a good yeah. amount i'm not saying you kids. i'm saying in general most times when they leave a situation you're gonna end up leaving the kids with the mom that's how most of the situations go i mean go. Yes. honestly that's really so always goes but that's not always by choice oh. first of all that's one. Women take the kids, and I don't know, I still don't understand why women get a right to take the kids without a fair They're fight right. for men. Well, good say, men. Go ahead. Not every man, I, but good men, is not. I still to this day don't understand why they automatically win. But whatever. Because we, we, we pop the but, kids but, out. But, like, but, you, but we're, you're we're, not in labor. We, we're in labor. I mean, all right, like, so that's a different topic, but <laughs> we're getting into that. I feel that. like it's the same but topic. Gonna, like, to get back, right? You didn't have to go through the, tr like, now, I'm not going to say trauma. I feel like that's yeah. harsh. But you didn't have to go oh, through the whole trauma. process. Like, the life it's trauma. Okay, yeah, trauma. The like, life-changing okay. moment. So, that's, so, I feel like it's different. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. Go ahead, Stop. Rico. We're going to finish. Let me go finish. Ahead, bro. So, what I'm also going to tell you, Jada, is that over 70% of women file for divorces. So, y'all are filing for divorces. And y'all are taking half. And y'all are taking the kids. And now it's our duty to make sure that the women is okay because at the end of the day, we don't want our kids to not be okay. But let's just flip this real quick. If a woman moves on and we, we whatever the case may be, but the father is doing bad, fuck the dad. Wow. He's a low life. He's a bum. He don't got his shit together. He can't even provide for me and my kids, but you doing good. <laughs> but you doing good. But like, what I'm saying is the, the, the spectrum is always flipped on a man to have the losing end. That's all I'm saying. Because it's a double standard, but it's I'm okay with those double standards. Can I was I born I was born with broad yeah, shoulders. Yeah, I could take yeah. the pressure. Can Listen. Tell something. We talk about investments, right? Mm -hmm. um, protect your investment. Um, so, and entitlement. And marriage, right? So let's talk about parents, for instance, right? You was the football player. Your a mother sent you. Your mother sent you to training camp. Mm -hmm. No, she didn't. She sent you to the best no, high school. No, she didn't. Not this big. I was football. in a public school and I did what I had to do. Oh, right. <laughs> now you this big. Now you this big football star, right? Uh -huh. Is she entitled when you sign a multi-million deal? You Is know, she entitled to a house? You Is know, she entitled to a new first car? of all, my mother brought me in this world. That's mm -hmm. right. That's why we're not going to compare my mm -hmm. mother to my wife. Yeah. But don't you ever do that to a man. <laughs> all right. Now, like, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Now, versus a mother that wasn't there for you. So, uh, yo, a, a mother, mother that didn't do yo. do nothing. Is she still entitled because she's your mother? No. No. <laughs> you just made, you just put. No. You know so, and you know what? what? So, the, no, Nikki. No, no. no Nikki. <laughs> you why are you going through this whole process and supporting you she didn't bring me in this world if listen if but you but if your mother didn't help you she's still not entitled, entitled bro Yo, but the mother that did help you is entitled though even though she brought she me brought you into the world. World. I, no i didn't you guys just <laughs> proved my point if you bring me into this world and carry me throughout my journey you mm -hmm. are entitled maybe you don't you can't bring me to this world because you're my wife mm -hmm. but if you help me build this world the entire way you are entitled well Does first of all i don't i don't agree with any mother or anyone is entitled entitlement is is entitlement is the thief of hard work and progression i'm asking nikki a question now now everybody just nikki have you ever nikki diamante <laughs> have you ever pretended or exaggerated 
the way you felt for a man to for a possible game. That's all my question. That's, that's just my question. That's just my question. Every day. Because you said we don't take enough time to know y'all, but I'm just saying y'all be faking. Um. <laughs> 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 Yo, I, I wanna, I'm no a as no ju- <laughs> So the thing with me, I was really, really toxic last year. <laughs> last year. Last year, you know, really, really toxic. And there were men that I literally knew I had no future with this person. They were placeholders. And I would tell them anything. Yes, placeholders. And I would tell them anything to like reel them in to get them to think that I like them or care for them more than I actually did because it was like an ego boost. Like, to have a guy fiend for you or do anything for you. <laughs> I don't know. You like, I, boy, bye. I'll be watching your, I'll be watching the phone ring when you yes. call. <laughs> I agree. So I was very egotistical. I'm not, you know, proud of it. it. That's very sickening because if a guy was doing it, if a guy was telling you everything you wanted to hear and, and taking you out on dates and be like, no, I just want to be fun. Right. Like, right, you know, right, just right. said you love me. Right, right, oh. right. So so we got to give her a round of applause because at the end of the day, women gets on men every... When the, man, when the minute that a man do something, he get all over social media. Y'all dogs. We you sitting too. there, but... What no, listen, about? listen, no, listen, no, 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 no. Oh, listen, w- no, women don't like to admit, hey, but women don't like to admit. See, a man will publicly admit it, but women don't like to admit <laughs> that y'all be exaggerating a whole bunch of things, knowing that you don't really feel some type of way about this man. Because but the minute, which is why I tell men, ask, listen, really court or take this person seriously because women get the high because they're not the ones that propose if they really love or to, that, that that will really marry you. They can run all you went. Yeah, the reason why I left him because he didn't um he didn't pop the question, but you really didn't want to marry him in the first place. Mm-hmm. But you get to hide behind that. So you got to bring bring her all the way out to the sea. But you was about to say what, Crystal? <laughs> <laughs> I say, uh, I'm sorry, really no. quickly. <laughs> there, it's apparent when people do it, though. Huh? I, I, I feel like it's apparent. Like, Crystal, I just said I do it for ego reasons, and then there's women that do it for money. So well, I feel darling, like, you don't feel know. like it's apparent? Like, have and you ever both. been with somebody where it was just like, um, you thought, like, this is my boo, but it was just like, nah, like, we just having a good time. Yeah, for me, no, I feel like... she's having a good time. He's falling in love. Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I've been in that situation. For me, it's like, I don't know, if we catch a vibe, then we catch a vibe. Now, you know, I'm gonna be with you and we'll do what we do. And sometimes it might not always benefit you in a way that you thought it was gonna benefit mm-hmm. you, but I'm not gonna say I don't care. I'm just gonna be like, well, I'm having a good time. So if you're not gonna say nothing, like, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do it how I wanna do it. So have a guy ever asked you to be his girlfriend? He was like, wait, what? Yeah. I was like, well, I didn't say, wait, why? I just paused. I was like, huh? Like, are you, like, serious right now? Did you see yourself with him? Um, I think I did. I think for me, it's just, like, for me to be committed in a relationship, I get very, like, I get very nervous. Because it's like, when I'm in a relationship or I'm with somebody, like, I'm with you. Like, mm-hmm. like togetherness is a thing for me. Like, we're locked in. Like, So you don't cheat or anything like that? No, I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a solid. Like, I'm committed. So you know, she's a Scorpio. We're Scorpios, guys. We're Scorpios. In my past life, oh, when, okay. I younger, <laughs> like, Scorpio when I was younger, like, when I was younger, like, Scorpio when I was younger. I'm not going to say I'm, like, completely wholesome and I've never, like, you know, when I was younger, like, the thing about me is, like, I go off of the vibes I catch with the guy. I go off of, like, how we interact and sometimes, like, in the long run, I needed a little bit more, you mm-hmm. know? Like, I believe in myself enough and, like, the work that I do and yeah. how I carry myself and, like, I believe in myself enough where I don't, like, really look at men like, okay, well, you gotta have this and you gotta have that you gotta have money, you gotta... You know, I'm not that girl, like... Right. And I I started to realize, like, no, I gotta have some kind of high standard because... So what is your standard now? My, sta- my standard now, I just feel like... I feel like... You got to be able to be in a partnership with me at this point. Because it's what like does that mean? partnership where it's like, hmm. What do you have to offer for a partnership? For a partnership? Wow. Mm-hmm. I have everything Oof. to offer. Like, what? If, you, if you have a business, I'm investing. If you want to throw this, I'm planning. If you want to do this, like, I feel like I have enough skills and I feel like I get my money and I know how to, like, maintain it if you, if you pitch in something. 
So it's like I'm your investor, your shareholder, your organizer, your plan. Like I'm all of these. Are things you at emotionally one. Wait, wait. stable? Before we, before emotionally we... stable. I would say, <laughs> no. Yeah, I have my bad days, but Crazy. overall, like yeah, if we if crazy. we plan if we have a goal and we get in somewhere and we're like building towards this, like and you taking direction or I'm taking direction and you're following Sue or I'm following Sue, then I'm all in. Like, it's emotional what? When a man says, I, this is what, that's the type of woman that they like, how are y'all trying to dictate or, 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 or get, upset. Say, get upset because you have men like, you know what? I, that's the woman I would deal with. Nobody said anything wrong with that. I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna say absolutely, like I'm 100% perfect. Obviously there's my emotional like flaws that can, you know, eat at somebody else's whatever they got going on. So you know crazy. what I'm saying? <laughs> Every woman's no, a little it's crazy. Like, what, is, what, is like, your, what is your temperament? Joking, yo. Are you good with kids? Are you scared yes. of dogs? Yes, like no. these are things you gotta think about when you're dealing with somebody and you're talking about partnership. What if this person have a dog? What if this person have kids already? Are you good with kids? Yeah, I'm That's adaptable. I, I can adjust. Adaptable. Like I'm very like, I've traveled a lot. I've moved around a lot. I'm not in the same, so. Yo, Crystal, I, I, I get what you're saying. Nikki don't want to accept it, but I get it's, it. It's not Listen. that because no, I don't want anybody in a relationship saying they could adjust. You are an individual. If you have to adjust too much in a relationship, you no longer become an That's individual. Not, so can I say something real That's quick on that? Get it, get it. Maybe, you, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you need to adjust, Nikki. The biggest room in the house no. is room for improvement. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, at absolutely. The, at the end of the day, like you, you always need to adjust. Yes. New knowledge come on the planet every single day. If you still stuck on who you were yesterday and you're not adjusting to the time, then you stuck in a time warp. You need to always constantly evolve in. So you need to adjust. You need to adapt. So in order to make things work, it's not always going to be the same person. I'm not always going to be the same, same person. person. Right? 100%. You know, can, we supposed to live 100 years. Like, you think I'm going to be this person for 100 years? No. I mean, growing not. and adjusting is different. If that camera is crooked right there, he could adjust it. But if it's broken, it's still going to be broken, yeah. whether he okay. adjusted or not. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, no, so, and, that's that's a, and, let me, how, and I how, agree with that. Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me. How okay. did that go with, with the, the toxic to the masculinity? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I get out of here. Um, Don't call masculinity toxic. <laughs> Don't do that. That's I great. said with the toxic, okay? The thing is, when we say adjust, like I said, you could be broken, but you could adjust to a situation. I don't want nobody to adjust to me. I want to grow right. with you. Well, it's yeah. not broken. It's, like, it. it's just bending. If the relationship is bending in a way, like, but we're going to straighten When we talk together. about healthy relationships, a lot of y'all don't even, a lot of us don't know what healthy relationships are. When you start to lose yourself as an individual, what that, I, mean, that, I feel like um, that's, that's unhealthy in no, a relationship. No, I understand what you're saying. So I'm you not can't saying... be with somebody and totally adjust yourself or remove yourself from your previous life. You need to have your own life outside of the relationship. So if you got to adjust too much, now, like, is exactly. that can I no, emotionally? That? Like, I'm going to adjust for my man emotionally because you have to. When men are supposed to go out in the world and be this person and be strong and be this. So I'm going to adjust and be like, baby, it's okay. Like, you can talk to me. You could tell me what else you're going through. You could tell me this. So I'm going to address emotionally. And I know myself, like, I, think you got, I can be um, very... Adjustment and supportiveness, probably. No, because no. that adjustment... Be I mean, yo, listen, you're not... All right, listen, listen. Can I just speak real quick? I'm just trying to... And I, I got to say something right. after you. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to say it. I'm going to throw it to Jada. Mm -hmm. What I'm hearing, Rico is hearing, is that she is going to do what is ever necessary to make the relationship work. So she's willing to adjust, right? She's not committed to her. She's not committed to him. She's committed to what the relationship is. If right now for five years, I need her to do X, Y, and Z, she's going to do X, Y, and Z. If five years later, it's I not need, harming I need her to do it. Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna lose myself in the long run. We're not gonna say complimenting morality, right? But yeah, you're right. So now let's say I need her to do A, B, and C, which is the total opposite X, uh, spectrum. She's going to adjust to make sure it works so that we both could work and go in the right direction. And I feel like, I like this because a lot of times, even myself, I'd be so stuck in what I what I want to do and how I have to move that if I I could lose out on somebody great because I don't want to take a different step. And that's the problem. So you, I think you got to learn how to adjust. Maybe it's my turn. Maybe it's my turn. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So because 
you know, I know a lot of people don't believe in signs, but because she's my Scorpio sister, <laughs> I'm going to just tell y'all this. We're basically women who are submissive, but we're not one to play with. So we know what we want. If we're interested in you, if you intrigue us, if you do what you're supposed to do, we're going to be that woman, period. We can do if if being there for you and being a good woman for you is going to help us get to where we need to go in the end. That's going to work for us. But if you play around and you don't you don't have certain things that we desire, then it's just we're just going to leave the situation, period. But submissive is very important in a woman. And it's been so hard on women, especially black women, that a lot of us don't know how to be submissive mm -hmm. and we don't know how to cater to a man. That's and right. we're not ready to make changes in order to make things work. And that's just how, you know, shit is sabotaged. But you have to be able to say, all right, we have a child. Now I have to be home. Like, I'm just speaking from my situation now. <laughs> I just had a child. So now my life is different. I can't just go out and party and go to dinners with him and do this and do that. I have to stay at home and make sure our child is good while he goes out and he works and as emotional as I was in the beginning because I was frustrated I had to realize all right he's at work because he has an end goal for an end goal for us and I'm here making sure that our child is good so that eventually we can come to a meeting point and we can our lives can make another you know change so that we can adjust to it so it's kind of like Shit just got to work out. And, and I, you know, that's dope. I, and mind you, I don't think that is just a Scorpio thing. I just think that's just a woman in general. I <laughs> and think what, I think and adjusting, that, that's like two different things for me. So I just want to clear yeah, that but, up. But sum, like submissive doesn't mean oppression. A lot of times people, you try to use that in the same thing because you can be submissive. And that doesn't mean that you are pushover. People, we have, you know, we get caught up on words and we are trained to think that submission is you, you're a pushover. That's not what this is. So uh, we both, the woman, as you say, needs to adjust and a man has to adjust to the time. We're both evolving and learning. It's a journey to learning or getting to self-actualization to your true potential. So you still learning yourself. She's still learning herself and y'all adjusting to the time to what, as Rico said, or what I heard, what Crystal and then now Jada was saying, and I think that you agreed that, to this point a little bit as well, as in, uh, <laughs> you, you know, you give me the look, but I think that trying to do or compromise is, that's really the term, compromise to do what's best for the relationship. As long as it's not destroying you as a in, as a person, then I think that compromising, and sometimes it hurts. Some Sometimes it does hurt. We Nothing is peachy peachy. Right. Everybody wants things to be so peachy peachy, and that's just not reality. You know, trying to have a healthy standpoint. Uh, you were saying Scorpio women, we ride five men. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I feel like a lot of reason why, and not you, because I see how you doing, you've been doing without you know, your previous relationships before you've been doing what you needed to do. A lot of women don't have much going on. And I'm not saying going like, you know, she probably work a regular job. So when you see a man like Ra or Rico, people that have men that have big dreams, you're going to kind of like ride the coattail and you're going to invest a lot of yourself and what he got going on. That's and I feel like in a relationship that's unhealthy because that's his thing. It's not your thing and you're not happy. So you're trying to ride on his coattail thinking that's going to make you happy by making him happy. Well, and I, I don't know if that's like, like subbing me, but like for me, I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, like, I'm not oh, trying to say, no, because no, you said, you pointed her, you pointed her out, you said I know her, and, but you don't no, know me, baby, so no, like no, no, I can understand why you would. I like this. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, no, I'm not. Torches on your, on your panel I don't, all I'm saying is, I know what I agree. I don't do. know you, so like, but I know her, and I know she had a business that was doing right. her own thing and I before. That. But some women, and that's why I said she said it's a Scorpio thing. But most women, and I'm not saying no, it's I know, a, but it was just yeah. two Scorpios right here that was talking about it. So that's why I just said it. You <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not. No, I'm not even trying to like do anything. I'm just saying like for me to speak for myself as the other Scorpio woman sitting on the couch. Honey, like I'm not. Like I'm not just gonna ride my man's coattail. I'm gonna believe in his dreams and I have my own one dreams. One lesson as well. at this table: if there's five. an envelope and your name is not on it, do not open it. Because if I didn't say specifically you, I don't know you to say you know that's right. your thing. And no, and that's why I wasn't saying really trying to relationships we can't always like a woman we can't always see a man that's doing good and stop what we doing and 
go up under him. Because right. a lot of women do that. But you know, and I that's, know, that's, 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 but that's why I said my standard that too, of getting though. in a relationship, like, yeah, I'm, like, like, very nervous and hesitant about it because I know how I am in a relationship. But, so it's like, we just dating, like, I'm going to contribute and add, but I'm not going to fully, like, be With that being word. said, your but standards you, also have to be high, though. But, because right. if I'm contributing to you and if I'm doing this and doing that, you're not going to cheat on me. You're not going to disrespect me in any kind of way. You're going to know that we have that's marriage coming up, yeah, right? I'm or saying, we have this coming up. That's like, the negatives. That's the negatives. But well, look, you know what I'm I, saying, you know what I don't like, though? The shaming, right? Sometimes some women don't have, as you said, doesn't have direction. But her direction, it makes her feel good of helping others, like helping her men. Sometimes what he wants is, con like, for instance, y'all both can do something as a team. You Is that losing yourself? You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you directly. Because <laughs> I, I was, I felt like I was very specific on women yeah, that don't yeah. got much going on. So I, I wasn't talking about uh, women that actually is going in the same to college field doesn't mean you. that you got much oh, going on. Oh, that, what standard are we talking about, though? Yeah. I just want to say what I think, right? Because I think there's two ways to be a smart woman, mm -hmm. a woman, a smart woman, right? There's two ways, right? You could be one, be a smart woman by helping build your man because you don't want to work. So if you build your man, nobody wants to work. Not but just if women. But she's married to you, she's fucked because she's Listen not getting to me. I didn't, <laughs> no, I, no, but no, no, no. If she's married to me and did the bare minimum, she's not getting half. Yes, that's 100% right. But like I was saying, if you are a smart, there's two ways to be a smart woman. If you help your man build everything, right? Build the empire. You don't have to worry about working once that empire is built. You don't have to worry about stressing or any type of financial stress about once that empire is built. That's one way to be a smart woman. We can't knock them. There's another way to be a smart woman. You can finesse your, the men that come into your life constantly and take from him, take from him, take from him, take from him, just so you can build yourself to the top. But there's, there's two ways and neither of them are wrong. Well, well actually, I'm gonna say oh, one of them is wrong. I'm gonna say one of them is wrong, but I don't want to put a judgment. It's, it's the other yeah, third. But, <laughs> but a woman who builds, builds her own. And listen, mm -hmm. there's nobody, and 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 nobody. There's nobody that themselves. builds their own without supporting cast. And I don't really care if you're a woman or a man. You need That's other right. pieces to the puzzle That's that right. put you in the position to to utilize that opportunity That's that right. you have today. No thing so if you're a woman like, and you're at a CEO, guess what? Team. There might have been a woman or a man that helped you put yourself in that CEO position. Right. At the end of the day, you still need other people. But that's the same person who believed in one dream and focused on one building and pushed it to the top until they got to the position that they needed to get to. Mm -hmm. Now, we can't shame those people. I don't like when women shame other women, women. for helping their man. When I history that has been what has been going on and that woman has typically ate better than a woman who tried to utilize man as an opportunistic goal and and not i gotta preface this because i don't want this I'm is not sorry. this is not a shot at nikki this is not yeah, a shot at me listen, oh, listen, like, no, listen no but listen no listen no we you know we're not talking about you no, women not. aren't building women today are not helping men build empires you just said if, you're, if you just said if a woman true. True. help you build true. your empire, you're going to sit there and look back at your checkbook like, oh, you worked 10 That's hours today. That's not what I said. <laughs> That's what you said, no. though. No. <laughs> no, no, no. What I said, and I speak very clear, we're not slow here, and we okay, have footage. So, like, your guys, be position careful. That you I said, played. she said, if I worked as a call center for one year, then you're going to get paid for a call representative for one year. $12.50 or something? Uh, whatever so it may what be. Does a woman the need the no minimum tax, is no different. So, let me ask you, what does a woman need to do to build your empire now? You're a music artist. You're an actor. Right? What, what does I, she need? What does so she need what to I, do? Okay. Yeah, the video she I was said. about to say, just a point blank. So, so the audience, I know how this probably going to look. Just to be clear, Rico, if you were a woman, right, and you you have a child, say you got three ch children by this woman, y'all been married for ten years, and y'all get a divorce, would you give? Or, or do you believe that you need to take care of that woman after y'all get a divorce? As long as my kids live with her. Okay. All right. So if my so, kids do not live with her, no, I, I don't need to take care of it. No grown adult. All right. So just to be clear, because women, a probably, grown adult that has your because kids, because a lot of no, no. As long as my the kids, kids live with her, with yeah, her. she uh, doesn't have my kids. kids. If they don't live no, with her. No, I know what you're saying. Yeah. So, yeah. Wait, so, so, to, so he's not saying he's leaving a woman. So I just want I to make that clear yeah. because I know how it's gonna how it's gonna look on my boy. He's <laughs> not leaving a woman scot dry. A woman that's there that has his children. I don't gotta say things. Listen, I don't listen. I let the I let the people. I know. I let the people who can comprehend explain. Mm. But I don't have to explain everything. I don't have to, right. we don't even have that much time on the segment. So Rashawn, yes. as Thank a man, you. 
right? You're not on the show. It's me. It's me. You you watching online like everybody else. Okay. But you my man. Mm-hmm. Can you be submissive to me? I'd be like, Rashawn, I wanna I wanna have the kids. You wanna stay home with the kids? Well, I'll go get this bag. You could be submissive. Yeah. Depending on what you're talking about, though. What do you, I'm yeah. very straightforward. Right. I'm working. I'm working. I'm building my empire, but I want you as my support. Like so, so you talking about Rashawn at this point in time in my life? <laughs> right. I'm, at, no, I'm, Go I'm going to answer. I just need we because you gave me. I need all the context. So Rashawn yeah. at this point in time of his life, You're not on the show. I stay at home, dad. Stay at home, dad. No, ma'am. That's just never going to happen. Okay. Not at this time of my life. If I accomplish my goals, I don't mind help. I don't mind eleva- helping and elevating my woman for her own goals and her dreams and admirations that she wants. And I'm not doing nothing. It's not in me, Nikki, to just not do nothing. <laughs> I'm not going to hold okay. you. And when I say not do nothing, I'm saying just stay at home. No, but man. you are doing something. You're raising the kids. You're cooking the meals. You're making sure the house is clean. You're making <laughs> sure the car is fixed. You're making sure the gutters are clean. You're making sure the lawn is mowed. I don't you think understand? You making sure like you're still taking me out on dates. You making sure the girls is good. Their homework is done. Instead of me hiring a sitter and you're working and we gotta hire somebody to pick up the kids and hire somebody to wash the kids and do all this other hmm. stuff, you're there. <laughs> it's not in my nature. You didn't have to say none of that. Right. He just was like, nah, it's a no for me. It's a no for and that, respect. I, I, I'm not no. No judgment to any man that want to be a stay-at-home dad. Cool. Rico. But for me, Yo, that's just not in me. Terrible. Rico, come here. At first, Rico. I, I, Rico. I, I, Rico. 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 You could be Rico. 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 Stop it. Rico. You could be my house husband. <laughs> not my house husband. First of all, look. This is what I be trying to talk about, though. She be exaggerating feelings <laughs> to get guys to do what they want to do. do. <laughs> like, you know, I... Go full circle. <laughs> you know, I'm going to say right now I can't answer the question. Right? <laughs> I, I, Stop the cat, bro. No, no, no. Because look, my initial egotistical pride for self would say, fuck no. Right. Right? But, but rationally? Th- but when I start <laughs> thinking about it, and I'm like, yo, rationally. I was struggling for 26 years in this world. <laughs> you need a break? It should be easier. <laughs> I actually might do it. Like, you know, like, so I would have to say, it right? It would be a different lifestyle, you understand? It doesn't mean it's a bad thing. No but, one's saying you can never do anything for you. You can have an online business or whatever, but I'm saying I need your support. Well, I, have online I need you. Too, so right, I need you home. I need you with these girls. I need you to pick them up. I need the to do their homework. So, like, so when we say submissive, I say, like, we're, I'm taking a, wait wait I'm, yeah I'm taking submissive and I'm not putting at home there right? Okay, right because submissive just means you're dedicating your vision to somebody else right 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 that's that's, that's how I kind of that's how I kind of put it like you're putting their vision you're submitting to their vision right right that's the best way I could put it so if I had to stay at home no I can do it. there's no way I can't even stay in my home stay at home okay my so home. boom I'm a music artist. And I'm like, Rico, I don't want you to work. You're gonna be on you. you're gonna be on tour with me. I've never Oh, we lit. You. What do you mean? You never oh no, I'm with you. Listen to the question. I'm a music artist or I'm an actress. Um mm, don't get an apartment. You're staying in LA with me for six months while I shoot this movie. But that's not submissive though. It is submissive because as a man you have to drop everything you're doing and but, come help me like, with look, my stuff. But look, Six months. Mm-hmm. All right. So look, I believe That's everybody. I think I'm getting money out there. I'm with you. Say, no, listen, I'm not, yeah, you're like, not gonna stop me from making money. I'm going to do yeah. what I need to do. You say, right? What we're if money count. is not the object, you guys? What if I just have you know enough? Why? Because like, I you never. I, I, so I was raised and taught that a man that can't make or earn his own money. A woman would never truly, really, really respect that's her. That's true. And that's so I think that's that. So for too. me, yeah, you know what? I can't so, do it. so for me, <laughs> so for me, I think that I, you can be with the woman all you want and say, "Babe, you gonna go ahead and you know she's at the top tier, and that's cool." And you don't do nothing for self. I don't think that woman, in my humbly opinion, will respect that man. Would you? Do you see how you guys no. make staying at home sound like like staying at home with the kids? It seems like oh she's staying at home doing nothing. That's no, I never said that. No, they oh, I thought you were saying like staying no, at no, home. No, no, they never said that. No, no, Jada, no, no, okay. we never, never said that. Nothing wrong. Listen, we and we want listen. And, and, and shout, shout out to all of the ladies, mm-hmm. Ada at the table, want to say the stay-at-home moms who raise their children. We are, y'all all are, are appreciated. We not t- looking down on you. At the end of the day, that's a that's a whole job within itself. Absolutely. And men who has a woman that's willing to do that is able to do more in life, Bless and her. we need that. So at the end of the day, we're not sitting there and 
downplaying anything, but I don't think that if the shoe was reversed, that a woman who's out there grinding every single day and the breadwinner and the man doesn't make no money or does nothing in that aspect. Listen, the man, I don't think that that woman will respect it, but a man can respect a woman who's at home taking care of the children, et cetera, et cetera, and doing housework. A man can respect a woman like that, but I don't think the, well, the, the, the roles are reverse. I mean, huh? I what's the big difference in that? Our nature is different. Yeah, yeah. A man nature is to provide. If she's I, making a lot of money that can really make you guys. That's, that's, that's changing your life money. You know what yeah, I mean? That's true. I had a girl. But not to do nothing? No, you're talking about nothing. Like, I mean, like, not nothing. Yeah, not nothing. I'm going to be real with y'all, right? I had a girl the two alive. years ago tell me she, she I so listen sometimes when I used to get frustrated with her I couldn't really talk to her so I had my best friend talk to her but because she's not making no sense when she you know when you guys figure out her message let me know that was the, my way of finding a bridge to the problem right mm -hmm. so she said to him one day just tell Rico he doesn't have to do anything like I have all the money, I I make great money. He just, I just want him here in my house and chilling and then you, he could do whatever he wants to do. Obsessed. He doesn't have to pay with nothing. He doesn't have to pay for anything. And then- You got some good penis. So like, <laughs> no, that so, happens, no, that happens. happens. So, a lot, I think a lot of men- I, But no, she's not insecure. I think a lot of but men so, get that. The thing is, I was like, <laughs> A yo, lot of men get that? But like- oh, get but, that? What do, what do yeah, they get? Men or women? They, that get women. That's women that's out oh. there willing to to be like, yo, you ain't got to nah. do nothing X Y Z. And yo, listen, a lot of men don't get that. Everybody right. in my hood got that. They've been dealing with nurses and doctors for a long time. Like, but all right, but let me hood, say, all right, but nurses got to clock <laughs> in to get that bread. Doctors still got to clock. That's not change your life money. Yeah. I'm talking about yeah, somebody no. that got change your life money. Like you ain't never got to work again. If the nurse don't work, she not getting paid. All right, but doctors do got some change your life money. Money, I tell you right now, a quarter million a year is a lot. A lot right? right? So, so what I'm still what, not changing life money. You, you never taxes. seen that person. <laughs> listen, <laughs> money is consistent. Listen, all right, I'm about to say in four years, that's a million dollars, but I'm not going to get into that. So, look, realistically, realistically, and and I was like, yo, bro, that she does not understand. It has nothing to do about any of that. Thank you. And so, when I think about it and being submissive to a vision, I realistically couldn't do it. Even even though even though the I would almost feel like I'm taking the easy way out as a man, not everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like as a man, and I feel like because as a man, so much pressure is put on me since the day I was born to be a man. Mm -hmm. And and you Rico, to add to Rico saying, just you, we read the comments underneath those on um, platforms where women be like. You shouldn't question where she going if you ain't working, if she's paying the bills, if she do X, Y, Z, she had to buy your car, the whole nine yards. You see women dog those men who ain't doing nothing, who just giving out work, make clean up the household, the whole nine yards, and using her, the car in her name, the whole nine yards. These women that's taking care of those guys, and those guys be like, where you going? She she pays everything. Exactly. Women, uh, you the see, they get attacked. The same thing go for women. If my man, if my right. man bought me a a Ferrari and we live in a mansion, da da da. I'm not questioning where that man goes. Yeah, right. so wait, yeah. wait, 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 so you think like, that's cap? Think it's not cap, sis. If that's not a lifestyle I, you're providing for yourself, I just says Nikki. Like I said, like I said, like I said. Wait, I have a question. When I, like I said, when I said, when I said it's change your life okay. money, that's change your life money. You do not question. And I think that's why I think your life money. In your situation, because. In your situation, you said you make music and you're an actor. You're an actor, sorry. So if you're if you're if you're I'm with this girl, shade. no, I'm not. I'm just curious. No, I'm not saying. No, no, no. That's that's okay. that was on me. That was on me. Uh, some of those. <laughs> Anyways, um, like I'm saying, so if you're with that girl and she's saying just come and do this, like why does that affect your manlyhood if you're still? You could still make music. You could still be an actor. So why do you not feel like a man but that in that wasn't, situation? That, no, that wasn't right, what she was so saying. No, I'm asking off at what he was saying. Though. But he, because yeah, he was she's saying, she's asking a personal okay, question. Okay. Yeah, so, I'm just saying because yeah, he said yeah. he doesn't feel like a man. As a man, you're supposed to provide and da, 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 like. Is, or what is a man to you? That's just my question. Like, what is so a man? That's two different questions, but okay. I answer both. <laughs> All right. Right. So like. I, t to answer what is a, a man to me is a man who gets the job done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And a man who is respected and holds morality that is approved by most other men. 
So in that sense, she's paying the expenses. You don't got no expenses, but you're still creating your career or your dream. Making nah, but like, it. but like, so how is so, that not being, so let me, you're so getting let, the job done? Well, that was, I answered one question. Now let me answer the second question. All right. So the second question was why basically, you know, why do I feel like I'm not being a man? X, Y, and Z, right? If I do take that opportunity. And the, the realistic answer is I've been self-sufficient as a man for 26 years at that point, 26 years of my life. I've had a lot of success and accolades that I've got by myself. And realistically, the money that she's making, I have made before, right? So it's like, I really don't need you or your finances. Even if it was, let's say $2 million a year, that's still, that's change of life money, no? Nikki? Yeah. All right, so $2 million a year is change of life money. k a month. But like, I'm not willing to, <laughs> but I know I can achieve that already. So for me to sell out on everything that what I've already built, just to go left, to me, to Rico, was not good enough for my personal legacy. You know what I'm saying? And I have, I, I and I planned, because at that time I didn't, on having kids. And I'm, just, I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just saying, I plan on having kids and I want my, like I would never want my kid on this earth to ever hear that his dad or her dad wasn't a man. Quotes. Right, but, but she had 